on my back. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? Fly here. Hope you all are having a great day. Welcome back to World of Warships. Today's video, we are playing with the aircraft carrier, pretty much the tier one carrier or the tier four carrier. The first carrier get on the American side, actually the only um, nation that has carriers in the game right now, the Langley class which is a flak deck carrier, which is pretty good um, in terms of speed and stuff, but I mean, that's not really why you use a carrier. But later, but later carriers are actually really fast, like uh, the Lexington and Essex. But uh, in today's video, we're going to be taking this out, showing you guys how I play it, kind of show you guys how to play carriers in World of Warships. Now, um, how I play carriers and how you should... I don't fuck it, you know, you guys can find your own way to play your carriers. But I take two fighter squadrons, all right? Hold on, let me just make sure my modules are correct. Okay, yeah, I take two fighter squadrons because, um, first of all, the way I look at being a um, aircraft player is that I am not there to do an attack. I am not there to do attack damage. Okay, I'm there to defend my carriers, uh, obtain air superiority, and then once that happens, then I can now set my TBs out to do some damage. But until then, we're gonna get air superiority. I mean, I'm gonna send some squadrons and squadrons out, but those those are those are gonna be um, second priority. First priority is gonna be covering the battleship from uh, um, TBs, killing those TBs so those carriers can't reload those TBs and bring them back out or DBs and do that. All right, guys, ready for some gameplay? Let's get into it. All right, guys, so welcome to the game. Um, we're reversing uh, two, uh, re reversing three Congos. We have two Congos. Um, we have God. We have some really good ships. So uh, thank you, Matchmaker. So here's my carrier. Um, in in uh, today's gameplay, I'm gonna show you some cool views of the planes in action. It's actually really cool how how they did this because in Alpha it wasn't like this. But now I'm very glad that they uh, listened to the community and changed some things about this game. All right. So now we're in our RTS mode. We can always change to shift just to you know look at our ship and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and uh, set a course. I'm going to set a very stingy, not stingy, a very small, okay, at half speed. And now, as we can see, our carrier is starting to move. We can we can move at full speed, which is fine, but, like, I don't really need to get anywhere, if you know what I'm saying. Um, God, look at that water. Look at that wake. That is pretty cool. Oh, this ship has a pretty big wake. Okay, we're going to go back to half speed. All right, so now we're gonna launch our planes. Let's go to RTS mode, and, and then we can watch them launch from the deck. Isn't that pretty darn cool, guys? I love that a lot. <clears throat> okay, launch the second squadron, and this is and it's always very good to group up your fighters. And it's always very good to have two squadrons of fighters at lower tiers. And the reason why, because people usually have uh, one t or one. Oh, okay, good. He's ready. Only one squadron. And with, with that said, that means that w whenever you engage a a a squadron with two squadrons, the first little bit of the attack, you'll have a huge advantage. Maybe shooting down two planes right away. Um. So what I'm kind of concerned about this game is I'm going to separate. They only have one carrier, so I'm going to separate. Uh, my fighters over here and over here, and the reason why is because on this map we kind of have some trolley carrier players who just want to uh, bomb, you know, uh, enemy carriers, which, which is a good idea. Uh, but then, with that said, you leave your team hanging high and dry with uh, fighter cover. Um, so I'm just going to send some fighters over here, just get out the area, make sure he's not that type of player, and then we can uh, adapt. And, uh, and as we can see, our independence on our no, our, our other Langley, he is a torpedo bomber player. Pretty much, I call these guys torpedo whores. Uh, they or or, or uh, a bomb or a DB horse. Uh, that's just from Navy Field uh, lingo, and he like this is just, I mean, it's just it's just kind of productive right now. He's 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 not he's not scouting. He's not doing anything really. He's not defending his you know fleet. You okay? Okay, Roger that. So we so we got some fighters over here. I think he's just. I think he's doing the same thing as I was. I, I, I think he's just kind of concerned. Yo, what are you guys doing over here? 
Okay, uh, fire. Where, where, where are our TBs at? Okay, so our TBs are right here. We're gonna look for a nice, slow, cumbersome ship. This is a St. Louis class. This is this, this is a Congo class. This is high priority. Um, the thing is right now. All right, thank God. I thought I thought. Wait, those are mine. Fuck, get out of there. God damn it. If, if this guy runs into the mountain. I mean, oh, let's just chill. You need you need to go back to base, sir. Has he stopped right here? Okay, just hang on, guys. And now we have torpedo squadrons coming in. Here are our fighters going. Where's our third squadron? We need to bring it back up. Come on. Look at this view. Yeah, get them, boys. Get Kill those torpedo bombers. We need to go to our four right now. Okay. So we have fighter cover right now, going after these tor torpedo bombers. Ho hopefully this guy can get out of there right now. Oh, uh, he's gonna take a he's gonna take a torpedo hit. Okay, we're getting these TPs a little bit over here, and we're gonna drop him into the Congo. Looks like he's almost stuck right now. We're flying a wide circle because the Congo has a pretty good AA defense. We're, we're gonna go back to our carrier right now. Kind of change a little bit of our route. No, 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 no. Fucking shit. Map. Thank you. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Learning the keys in this game is kind of hard sometimes. All right. See, look. Get out of here. Stop. All right, guys. Okay, we got, uh, looks like maybe three or four torpedo bombers coming in. And they're dropping. How many torpedoes do we get off? Two. One. Damn, what a bad fucking run. Okay. New fighter squadron out. As long as we can find a good fighter curve, that's all we, uh, that's, that's our main objective in this game. Now, where are you? You better be close. All right, good. And so, you know, getting one torpedo hit, man. Wait, we didn't even get a torpedo hit. I think he died before we even got there. I don't know. Yeah, damn. Surprise, surprise, this guy even made it home. Okay. Our team is looking really good right now. A little, uh, let's see if we're kind of... Who's standing by for instru instructions? You are? Okay, roger that. The, the controls, nice hits, nice hits. The controls for aircraft are really good. Um, sometimes you just get confused on what you're actually in. Like, you know, sometimes I confuse this with RTS. I don't know. It's just like, like, this is this, and I'm like, oh, like this, and I'm like, what button do I press? And it's M, but like, you know, I'm still getting new to this game. Um, I don't really know yet. Okay, I'm gonna go over here, because these guys might need some carrier or uh, air airplane defense soon. Okay, now we can take off some new, um, fighters. And I'm gonna get this baby on a fast motion... Oh shit. Okay. A uh, fast uh, heading this way. Ring it. Yep. Here's those engines kicking. I need. I need to take out this guy though. Don't want to really fly them right. Yeah. We're gonna intercept these TBs. Ah, I wasn't there. God darn it. I wonder what these uh, battleships are doing. I don't know why they're so worried about this uh, class right here. But uh, we're going to have some TBs coming out. We're going to actually decrease. Ah, no, no. Now, th now this, is, this is where we need to actually perform with our torpedo bombers. Okay, just keep some scouts out right here. Perfect. And we'll keep those right here, just for the time being. Coming back to our carrier. Yep, yeah, he's starting to shoot at me now. Good hits on his part. He's not going to last too long, boys. We're going to get him here. Torpedoes are going to be out. Dropping torpedoes. 
Good torps, good torps. We got one hit. Good hit. We're gonna repair the deck. Come on, destroyers, get him. Nice, good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna book our, uh, uh, Um, sometimes the controls are a little bit touchy in this game. Because, let's see if we can catch up with, with these TVs in the center. I don't know what you guys are, what, what's happening here? Oh, you, I, th I think they're bugging out right now, I don't know. Okay. Now, I think right now we're, we're going to go on a torpedo assault to their carrier. Oh wait, never mind. He's he's already bone class. Maintaining present course. No, not the best game. Do you usually when I usually I get like ten or fifteen playing kills. Look at, look, look at this zoom though. I, I love this mode right here. It is so cool to watch this happen. This is an awesome feature this game has. Don't crash into each other, guys. Keep it up. Uh, he can die now. It's okay. Not right, nice. Hey, there we're we're getting some more. So now we're gonna go for this bad boy. I think over here. We could, we, could, we could go for the carrier and get sweet vengeance on him for uh, for torpedoing some of our ships. I, th I think we might, yeah, we're definitely going to pursue this because he's, he, he's behind a rock right now. Torpedo bombers are out. Uh-oh, can he dodge this? He's just going to nonchalantly dodge, it, dodge this right now. L look at his dodge. Oh my god, that, that was fucking awesome. Yeah, but he's Toast McGee now. We're going to this other guy. Ah, oh, see that? Whenever, whenever I'm in my plane mode and clicking, I should never have to worry about changing my ship's direction. Um, because what happens when you're doing that, so let's say I'm clicking too fast and I kind of highlight, that takes, oh, damn it, you couldn't even see it. That takes it off my uh, plane mode and puts it onto my ship. So not only that good of a game, but a pretty good, um, or a little bit of a, a nice introduction gameplay. We're, we're going to get another one right now. Hopefully we can do a little bit more meta this game and uh, show you guys uh, how fun a carrier can be to an extent. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, some of the problems with the carriers in game is that, uh, wow, Langley versus Independence, fucking shit. It's be a hard game, guys, we got this, though. Um, one of the things about carriers in this game is that a lot of the carriers don't provide proper fighter support for their battleships, so the all-game battleships just get fucking raped, torpedo, like, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's open season. Um, and that's what, you, that's what we need to learn how to play the, the carrier. Um, like, think about it, you know, we, we have a squadron of two going after two torpedo bomber squadrons. We kill those two squadrons of tor torpedo bombers, that's a huge blow for that carrier. He, he doesn't have many more planes on ship, especially at this tier, uh, to, to throw out. Um, oh, man, I just don't really know where to go this map. I want to support... I want to support A, because A is more open for torpedo bombing attacks and whatnot. Mode okay, there we go. Okay, so let's send. We're, we're launching a, a squadron right now. Beautiful. And so, if you guys ask me if carriers are balanced or not, and they are balanced if the enemy player knows how to deal with them, right? But then that is just so not the way it should be. Um, honestly, in, in, in all regard, I think that uh, planes. I think uh, fighters should take out torpedo bombers very fast. Um, but, uh, you know, that was a statement I had maybe a couple or during my live stream. But since I've been playing the carriers a little bit more, they do take them out pretty well. Uh, but maybe a little bit faster wouldn't hurt either. Um, just to make the TVs really scared of the uh, battleship or any kind of ship they're going to go after um, with the fighters around. 
Okay, so our torpedo bombers are ready. We're just gonna send them on a nice little route around the map and kind of surprise some people. Now, I'm sending my fi fighters this way just because I want to just kind of scout out the map, see what they're doing, and not be in a bad position um, when I'm not, you know, if I don't, if I commit all my fighters to the one side. Okay, we got fighters in the middle. Roger that. Okay, we're gonna re, we're gonna rendezvous, uh, rendezvous these two uh, squadrons right here. It's just that when, when you're one carrier on the map, it's very hard to handle the whole entire map. That's why it's awesome to have two carriers. And two, two carriers work really well because one carrier can get... I don't, I don't know if you're going to see my mouse, but one carrier can get the right side of the map and one carrier can get the uh, left. Can we plan on like an assault? Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. You press shift and, 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 and you can guide your planes accurately like that. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got TBs coming in. We got TBs coming in. We got a lot of TBs. I'm in a bad position. I don't know. I don't know why these fighters came back here. I thought I was putting them over here. Ah, fuck. It's just a learning experience with how to like micromanage properly. But as you know, you know, you gotta make mistakes. To um, man, I was almost. I I fucked up really bad. We're gonna get these guys on rendezvous. <coughs> rendezvous back. Go, go, get him, get him, get him, guys. Yeah. Dive on them. Come on, get one more before they drop. So for some reason, the, the torpedo bombers are pretty damn quick sometimes. Come on, guys, take them out. See, this, this is what I'm talking about. See, now maybe, maybe they're too close to engage. Team has taken the lead. I, don't, I, I just don't know. I'm sure I should have to do a lot of RNG. Okay, we're gonna watch these guys coming in. Lol, I've been having this guy sit out here for the longest time. A little bit too slow. The fighters can do whatever they want. Come on, guys, take him down. There we go. Awaiting instructions. A lot of lot of DDs over here. Not a lot of uh, battleships. See, look, look at this. This is this is way too long. This is what I was talking about. Way too long. Way too long. That's bad, guys. See, now, even if, even if I have my planes in the right position, I really can't even effectively defend my uh, friends. Return. We're going full speed. Now, I have a lot of experience in... Uh, damn. We're under attack. Yeah, Roger that, I know. They have. See, this is really good. If you're a destroyer player, being out in the center like this, being like an annoyance to the carrier player, is a really good because we have, we have to watch out for your AA and stuff. But uh, I was a I was one of the best carrier players in um, Navy Field, which was oh, that, that, that 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 naval combat was just so fucking good. Okay, St. Louis. We, we might set up for the St. Louis. The St. Louis is actually a prime target right now. He is turning though. It looks like. Fire. Nice drop, nice Stand drop, perfect. Those are naughty torpedoes. Returning to ship. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Uh, we dropped them a little bit too close, and so what that does is it doesn't arm them properly. But that's still that, that was still a good good torpedo run. We'll just know next time to drop them a little bit further out, but still a good lead, good approach. Now I'm gonna use these guys to scout the middle. And now, yeah, there we go. I, I knew he's going to do this. I have a feeling that he's going to come and uh, try, try to take me out of the game right now, which is not going to happen. So now I, so I'm, now, now I can bring my uh, uh, torpedo bombers home. Returning. Now it's critical that we keep 
Uh, nope, they just went off spot. Our team has taken the lead. Okay. Good job, uh, uh, Charlie. I just want to scout these guys out right now. Come on, I told you to go up there like an hour ago. Isn't that weird, guys? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just not clicking the buttons right. Okay. All right, you need to go home, torpedoes. We need to load you back up. Uh, let's check the. Let's check. I might have to turn this baby around right now. We have, a, we have a destroyer coming in, and so we're just going to make a nice little... Ugh. I'm, I'm in ship mode. God damn it. Returning. Okay, we're going to head over here. So now now I think uh, the, the carrier is ma mainly concerned on the right side right now because um, he is getting kind of pushed by these guys. Come on, fighters, make it over there. But, you know, maybe maybe the slow fighter effort is maybe how I engage the planes. It seems like when I come down and engage a plane um, with a boom and zoom tactic, it does a lot more damage than sitting right behind it. Maybe that's something. And I wouldn't mind a mechanic like that. That makes sense. In Navy Field 2, I don't know if any, if any guys play those fighters, but it, but if uh, planes started circle dogfighting, they wouldn't do any damage. But if you would re renegotiate their flight patterns and stuff, they would do more damage. Alright, so good dodge. You guys got fighter support now. You're not going to have any more trouble. Let's kind of get you guys, we're gonna get you guys a little bit more grouped up here. Squatting up your fighters is essential to winning a dogfight. Just destruction. Awaiting instructions. Okay. Torpedo bombers are up. Waypoint reached. There's our TBs. Beautiful biplanes. Don't see a torpedo on the uh, war gaming. You need to do that. But that's just eye candy right now. We're gonna get some more kills here with these fighters. Now the Myogi class, which is right here, doesn't really have really that good AA defense. Oh, look at this dogfight, boys. That is awesome. Shot one down. Shot two down. Come on, take him out, boys. Shot three down. They're dead. Nice. See, that was really easy. All right, good. Now we're going to scout out um, the carrier. Kind of hover these around him and just give him an annoyance the whole entire game. Air superiority is a way to do it, boys. I mean, sure, torpedo bombing is fun and you take out ships, but your main role is to make sure those ships are safe. And, you know, I, I try to do that this game, but I've kind of failed a little bit. But it's, it's, it seems like it's working. We, we have some better, uh, some more ships uh, out right now. Now, where is that carrier? This guy should have spotted him by now if he's over here. There's our carrier. You see him right here. We're gonna drop some long range torps. You guys ready for this? I don't know if this is gonna work. It's gonna be fucking hilarious if it does. Torps out. Now, now the thing why I dropped them right here is that if he wants to dodge these, he's, he, he's gonna have to turn out into our destroyer path. And wow, look at this. Look at this, guys. This is beautiful. He's, he's, he's gonna take three. Oh, just missed, but look. Oh, wow. Yeah! Woo-wee! Some good TB action right there. So not really that much XP. I really didn't do that much that game. Um, sh shooting down planes does get you a lot of credits, though, which is kind of nice. All right, the Langley class. OP carriers. Let me see your ship. It, it, I wish I could look at it right now, but I can't, because once once the game starts, I'll be in a, a RTS view. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
General quarters. All right, here we go. Auto you can look at my ship, enabled. though. Okay, one second. Bright green. Oh, there you are. I can see it, man. Fucking pickle nice, color, huh? man. <laughs> Alright, launching the planes. It's got two launchers with three torpedoes each. And, like I said, smoke charges, which is pretty epic for a cruiser. Awesome. And the guns are half decent as well. But it's absolutely paper thin. I don't think it has any armor and it only has 18,000 hit points. Like a heavy destroyer. Rather than a cruiser. Yeah, pretty, it does yeah, pretty knots. much with those, you gotta be careful, man. Yeah, I know. And, it's, and it does 36 knots. Ah, shit, but I forgot to check how far the torpedoes go and what the yeah. range is. Uh, just, just oh, yeah, I can check try now. to shoot for like 10 kilometers at the most. Got my fighters oh, yeah, flying right over you right now. You see my fighters? Yeah. Yeah. Although I don't really need fighter support in this thing, yeah, I'm too fast for the heavy I'm a, planes. I'm just going to scout for you right now. I hope we got some fighters in the middle of the map, it looks like. So it looks as though I do get 10k range on these tops. Do you have AA, do you have AA defense on that thing? Um, A little, but not much, okay. I think. I've got like a couple of... I've got like four AA guns, I think. Okay, great. And the gun range on this thing is negligible. Our team has taken the lead. But I'm going to use these 10 kilometer range torpedoes to cause some havoc. There's just awesome view. If you press shift with your planes, uh, you can uh, like fly it with them. That's awesome. That's nice. I haven't played much carrier yet, so. Yeah. Is that a battleship down there? All right, I got torpedo bombers going over this guy. Oh yeah, come to Papa. I got two squadrons on a torpedo uh, 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 squadron as well. Well, there we go. Oh, they're bonus. diving on him. This is awesome. Wow, enemy battleship actually managed to dodge all my torpedoes by just stopping. We're under attack. But I'm just going to hit them again. It's the nice thing about torpedoes. Torpedoes away. Oh, I got this guy. He's dead. Returning to ship. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. That's not... <laughs> Poor guy. Come, were you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Did you see that? No, I didn't see it. I what just happened? torpedo bombed this whole entire, uh, looks like destroyer down low. Nice. Okay, my planes are, um, going... Oh, they can still stay up. They have an, an exclamation. And I just found a beached battleship. That's always nice. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Someone says, call me crazy, torpedoes are not Pokemon, so you don't need to catch, or you don't have to catch every one of them. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're in a really good position right now. Oh, Conway, those torps are looking really good on the, R on the RTS view. If he gets... Ah, uh, if he gets stuck again, oh damn it! 
Let me, I'm going the torpedo view. No, he got free. Yeah. Such yeah. a shame. That would have been epic too. Yeah, mine all missed. Well, that's okay. I'll get him yet. Did he really just run around again? Can you check on RTS view? Uh, one second. I got uh, die bombers to deal with right now. Okay, checking on RTS view. Uh, he is, he is, look, he, maybe. No, he waited, made it around, okay. Almost killed the destroyer, which is nice, but not quite yet. Didn't I've got 50 seconds on my torpedo reload. Returning. I think after a I'm while. Just gonna stop here. I don't know what is up with it, but my. Hmm. Why couldn't they have caught that? I don't know. <laughs> Our victory is in sight. We're waiting already. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're doing really good right now. I've shot down 14 planes this game. Awesome. Yeah, enemy battleship is about to sink as well. Sink as well. Yeah, two two of these are. Oh, yep, he's dead. Congo, bye bye, Congo. What the fuck am I doing on this flank anyway? There's no one left alive here. Torpedo drop. Are yours? Yeah, by accident. I uh, I thought that they were, they were going to uh, drop a little bit earlier, but they didn't. Ah, uh, we won anyway. It's a shame. This battle could have been better. Indeed. I didn't actually hit any of my torpedoes. Seventy-five thousand credits. 